write in my book, uh, The Whitewashing of Christianity, A Hidden Past, A Hurtful Present, and A Hopeful Future, that was one of the major concerns is, you know, people are making what I call an eternal decision. And that's an eternal decision to reject Christ based on erroneous information and revisionist history. Uh, many of the African theologians, philosophers, martyrs have been presented as white men and women in seminaries and textbooks and other forms of literature. Uh, this has led many people, uh, primarily black and brown people, uh, millennial, uh, millennials, um, to conclude that Christianity is a religion of oppression or a religion in favor of only one race. While uh, many of us that have studied and are well read, we know this couldn't be further from the truth, uh, it's important that we understand that people are viewing Christianity this way because if we're honest, Christianity has been presented in a monolithic way, from white Jesus to 12 white disciples to, again, painting Africa in as it relates to theological contributions with one broad white stroke is presenting Christianity and presenting Christi, Christi, uh, Christian history in the wrong way. And so uh, I decided to write about that to address that because these people have legitimate concerns. And so it's important that we kind of deconstruct, uh, address their concerns, give legitimacy to their concerns, but then also let them know we cannot arrive at the conclusion that Yeshua is to blame for people who have tried to revise history or ignore the black and, con black and brown contributions to the Christian faith, history, theology, and philosophy. And so that was one of the kind of the driving points. Ultimately, the primary driving point is the gospel, but also I wanted to address those things that may be eclipsing the gospel in the minds of people who view Christianity uh, through a whitewashed lens.